within like a span of 15 minutes. So I'm gonna say the first one. Yo. Can't have no light. Blake to the blink, the bad breath that came from the chest. Yeah, I said it. Who the hell you think I was talking to? It was crude to be left unmistaken and mistaken. The people that congregated message was left undeveloped to be like gumbo and without the right gusto to make the party happen. It all seemed null and void to give the poise in the direction which no man is ever expecting. I said it was your bad breath, not the leftover stain from the pot roast mama made last week. It was the nastiness that came from the nasty. When he kicks the dog shit, it's equivalent to the face that you possess. Many mirrors get broken, break to take the last ounce of glass and sand. We are now going back to the bad breath. Your breath needs to be flossed with formaldehyde to preserve the longevity in your nastiness grilled called the teeth. When we meet or met or left the last ounce of breath in our section, that is our memory of more doo-doo and poo-poo to make you drool. When that fine lady walks across the street, passing your direction, and all the fellas in the section get hard dick to another one of the pimp daddy's tricks. It was deserving to think that the chalk outline of Caesar on the street would leave a dent in our social scene of society, the packing glocks and all that ill type bang bang will make us put away the red and blue bandanas. But we can't help it when every so-called country has flags sporting their colors. We are cultured to be fighting each other. And as natural as that may be, I will say again for the most frequent, frequently, last time that your breath is equivalent to stank foot, stank put, stank shit, stank face, stank button, stank everything. There isn't a toothpaste around that will save you. Yeah. Yeah. This is another one. Earlier today, I wrote this around 2.31 p.m. It goes, hearing the word nigga, spit, jew, crack, a honky, mug, shark, jumba, greaser, skip, scap, scallywag, wonder bread, Irish, hop, mick, wop, sheep, charlie, greaseball, kite, wet bat, Paisa, gringo, border hopper, gringa, sand digger, sand nigger, 7-Eleven, Guinea, Koreatown, and whatever else I can search from the historical nonsense of racism. And to that, it is just equivalent to saying black, white, Mexican, Jewish, Irish, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Haitian, African, African American, Indian, Native American, Korean, Russian, Polish, German, English, and whatever else we can come with our cultural categorization. It is just as equivalent to saying poor, middle class, rich, wealthy, dirty poor, dirt poor, middle, middle class, blue collar, and whatever else we can come up with this socially, but how often is the word human used to communicatively express ourselves. Mike, a guy that I know named Mike said he wanted to make a friend with a universal crowd and he said out loud, anybody willing to hang out with me? And the universal crowd is what Mike got. They accepted him regardless of his skin. They accepted him regardless of his status. They accepted him regardless of what he had to check under the racial categorization surveys he took all his life. And so one day he got a rude awakening. Hey Mike, what's it like to have a big penis? Brothers be packing all the time. Yeah Mike, that must be great because me being part of the European race, I can never have a good penis, big penis, large penis, no matter how many extensed commercials I call in on. <laughs> Mike says, I thought y'all were universal. We are, Mike. We just wanted to get the little bit of the black perspective. We respect you regardless of what you look like. We are all people, but you're black and I'm white. You have a big thing, and I have a tiny thing. And that Chinese man in our group has an even smaller thing. I wish I had a huge cave to echo, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. <laughs> I found it rather surprising one day in my high school days that some peeps come along the way to say, hey Lugo, you got yourself a black girl. You're fucking Shanika? Damn, man, you can't handle that shit. You're sure your dick is big enough to handle a black girl? I was baffled. I was crushed to think that the stereotyping of dicks and skin and everything was still going forth. My response was simple. I say, I said, well, if you want me to unzip my pants and show you what a part white, part Chinese, and half Mexican dick looks like, then you can have a peek. I'm still looking for a big enough cave to say, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Because this racial, economical, social, cultural bullshit and communicative terming will never cease to end. Yeah.